Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. If you are watching our channel for the first time, please click on the subscribe button and bell icon to receive new updates from us. Now let's start. Today I am going to explain chapter 3 playing with numbers divisibility rules. See now what are divisibility rules. The process of checking whether a number is divisible by a given number or not without doing its actual division is called divisibility rule for that number. So, without doing the division, by observing the number only, we can say whether the given number is divisible by that particular number or not by following the divisibility rules. Now, let us learn all those divisibility rules now. See now divisibility by 2. A number is divisible by 2 if it has any of the digits that is 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 in its ones place. You can better understand this by seeing an example. Observe these numbers. Each number you verify the ones place value. Now by seeing the number we can say which number is going to divisible by 2. So what they said in the divisibility rule? In one's place, either 0 or 2 or 4 or 6 or 8, any of the digit is present in the one's place, then the given number is divisible by 2. Here 0 is there, so the given number is divisible by 2. Observe the second number, 2491. One's place 1 is there, so it is not going to divisible by 2. See the next number, 3654. Here one's place 4 is there. So, it is divisible by 2. See the next number 1528. Here, 1's place 8 is there. So, this number is also divisible by 2. Observe another number 2763. In 1's place 3 is there. So, it is not going to divisible by 2. So, you all understood now divisibility of 2. See page number 29, do this. Are 953, 9534, 900, 452 divisible by 2. Also check them by actual division. Now by observing the number, we must say which number is going to divisible by 2. And also we must do the actual division and verify them whether it is correct or not. Let us do the solution now. So write on the number 953. In 1's place it is having 3. So according to the divisibility rule by 2, in 1's place either 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 must be present. Here 3 is there so it is not divisible by 2. See another number 9534. 1's place 4 is there so it is divisible by 2. See next one 900. 1's place 0 is there so it is also divisible by 2. See next number 452. In 1's place here 2 is there. So it is also divisible by 2. Now let us do the division by 2. And check whether we done correct or not. So 953 divided by 2. 2 fours are 8. 9 minus 8 1. Get on the next number 5. So 15 we got. 2 sevens are 14. So subtract them. 15 minus 14, 1. Get down the another number, 3. 2, 6 are 12. So 13 minus 12, 1. We got a reminder, 1. So 953 is not divisible by 2. Now let us check this one. 9534. So for this, I am going to add same number. No? I am adding this 4 and check the division. So get this 4 now, 14, 2 7s are 14, so 14 minus 14 we got reminder 0, so 9534 is divisible by 2, see 900 is divisible by 2 or not, 2 table 2 4s are 8, so 9 minus 8 1, get down both zeros. 2 50s are 100 we get a reminder 0 so 900 is divisible by 2 it is proved by doing the actual division also
Now check one more number left over that is 452 divided by 2. 2 to the 4. 4 minus 4 0. Get down 5. 2 to the 4. We get a reminder 1. Get down 2. So 2 6 are 12. So 12 minus 12 0. Continuation I have done here. 452 is also divisible by 2. So what we have done here? Without doing the division, we verified whether the given numbers are divisible by 2 or not. And also it is re-verified by doing the actual division. Now let us see divisibility rule by 3. See divisibility by 3. If the sum of the digits is a multiple of 3, then the number is divisible by 3. Now let us see examples here. 21, 36, 45. 170. Check these numbers whether divisible by 3 or not. We need to add all the digits in the given number. So add them 21 as 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1 means 3. 3, 3 is a multiple of 3. So it is divisible by 3. See here 36. So add the digits now 3 plus 6, 9. So in 3 table 9 is present. 3 3 is a 9. So it is a multiple of 3. So it is also divisible by 3. Check now 45. Add the digits now 4 plus 5. That is 9. It is a multiple of 3. So it is divisible by 3. See 117. Add the digits now 1 plus 1 plus 7. 1 plus 1 2. 2 plus 7. 9. So 9 is a multiple of 3. So it is divisible by 3. See page number 30 to this. Check whether the following numbers are divisible by 3. See the first number 45,986. Now we need to check whether it is divisible by 3 or not. We need to do sum of the digits is multiple of 3 or not. We need to check. So add the digits now. 4 plus 5 plus 9 plus 8 plus 6. 4 plus 5, 9. 9 plus 9, 18. 18 plus 8, 26. 26 plus 6, 32. 32 is not present in 3 tables. So, 32 is not a multiple of 3. So, this number is not divisible by 3. See the second one. 36,129. Now, do the sum now. 3 plus 6 plus 1 plus 2 plus 9. 3 plus 6, 9. 9 plus 1, 10. 10 plus 2, 12. 12 plus 9, 21. 21 is a multiple of 3. So, it is divisible by 3. See third one, 7874. Do sum of the digits 7 plus 8 plus 7 plus 4. 7 plus 8, 15. 15 plus 7, 22. 22 plus 4, 26. 26 is not a multiple of 3. So, it is also not divisible by 3. Now let us see divisibility by 6. See divisibility by 6. If a number is divisible by both 2 and 3, then it is also divisible by 6. We already learned divisibility by 2 and 3. If the given number is divisible by both 2 and 3, it is also divisible by 6. Now let us see an example 2412. Now we need to verify whether it is divisible by 2 and 3 or not. See 1's place 2 is there. If a given number is having in 1's place either 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. It is divisible by 2. So here 1's place 2 is there. So it is divisible by 2. Now check the divisibility by 3. If the sum of the digits is a multiple of 3, then it is divisible by 3. So add the digits here 2 plus 4 plus 1 plus 2. 2 plus 4 6, 6 plus 1 7, 7 plus 2 9. 9 is a multiple of 3. So it is divisible by 3. So, the given number 2412 is divisible by both 2 and 3. So, it is also divisible by 6. Now, let us see few more examples on this. 
See page number 30, try this. E is 7224 divisible by 6. Why? Let us check whether the given number is divisible by 6 or not. See the number 7224. We have to check whether it is divisible by 2 and 3 or not. See once place 4 is there. So according to divisibility rule by 2, if the number is having in one's place either 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, it is divisible by 2. So the given number is divisible by 2. Now let us check whether it is divisible by 3 or not. So add the digits in the given number 7 plus 2, 9. 9 plus 2, 11, 11 plus 4, 15, 15 is a multiple of 3, so the given number is also divisible by 3. Since 7224 is divisible by both 2 and 3. It is also divisible by 6. See the second question. Give two examples of four digit numbers which are divisible by 6. 2424 that is 2424 6, 3, 3, 6, that is 6336. We have taken two examples of four digit numbers. These two are divisible by 6. Once let us verify whether they are divisible or not. 1 plus 4 is there. So it is divisible by 2. Here 1 plus 6 is there. It is also divisible by 2. Now let us check these two numbers divisible by 3 or not. Add the digits in our mind. 2 plus 4, 6. 6 plus 2, 8. 8 plus 4, 12. 12 is a multiple of 3. So it is also divisible by 3. So the given number 2424 is divisible by 6. Add these digits also. 6 plus 3, 9. 9 plus 3, 12. 12 plus 6, 18. 18 is also a multiple of 3. So 6336 is also divisible by both 2 and 3. So the given number is also divisible by 6. See the third question. Can we give an example of a number which is divisible by 6 but not by 2 and 3? Why? See the solution. No, there is no such number which is divisible by 6 but not by 2 and 3. Why? Because according to the divisibility rule by 6, a number must be first divisible by both 2 and 3. Then only the given number is divisible by 6. See now divisibility by 9. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of the digits of the given number is divisible by 9. Divisibility rule by 9 is just like divisibility by 3. If the sum is a multiple of 9 or it is divisible by 9, then the given number is divisible by 9. Let us see an example, 81. First we have to check sum of the digits. So 8 plus 1, that equals to 9. So 9 is divisible by 9. So 81 is divisible by 9. Now let us see some examples on this. See page number 30, do this. Test whether 9846 is divisible by 9. So what we have to do, we need to find sum of the digits. If that sum is divisible by 9, then the given number 9846 is divisible by 9. Let us see the solution now. Sum of the digits. Nine plus eight plus four plus six. Nine plus eight seventeen. Seventeen plus four twenty one. Twenty one plus six twenty seven. Twenty seven is divisible by nine. Therefore, the given number nine thousand eight hundred forty six is divisible by nine. See the second sum without actual division. Find whether 89,98,794 is divisible by 9. Now let us see the solution. First we have to find sum of the digits. So given number you add all the digits. 8 plus 9 plus 9. 
plus 8 plus 7 plus 9 plus 4. So, write down 8 plus 9, 17. 9 plus 8, 17. 7 plus 9, 16. Plus 4. 17 plus 17, 34. 34 plus 16, 50. 50 plus 4, 54. 54 is divisible by 9. Therefore, the given number is divisible by 9. See now third sum. Check whether 786 is divisible by both 3 and 9. Solution let us see. Divisibility by 3. First what we have to do? Find the sum of the digits. 7 plus 8 plus 6. 7 plus 8, 15. 15 plus 6, 21. 21 is a multiple of 3. So the given number 7 6 is divisible by 3. Let us check divisibility by 9. Find out sum of the digits 7 plus 8 plus 6 that equals to 21. 21 is not divisible by 9. Therefore, 786 is not divisible by 9. See divisibility by 5. A number is divisible by 5. It has 0 or 5 in its 1's place. Now let us see some examples and check whether they are divisible by 5 or not. See 5785. In one's place it is having 5. So it is divisible by 5. See the next number 6021. In one's place it is having 1. So it is not divisible by 5. See here 1000. Here one's place 0 is there. So it is divisible by 5. See the next number 9005. Here one's place 5 is there. So it is divisible by 5. So what we observe by seeing these examples. In one's place either 0 or 5 is present. Then the given numbers are divisible by 5. See now divisibility by 10. A number is divisible by 10 if it has 0 in its 1's place. See 5682 here 1's place 2 is there so it is not divisible by 10. See next number 9720 here 1's place 0 is present so the given number is divisible by 10. See the next number 5986 here 1's place is 6 is present so it is also not divisible by 10. See the next number 10,090. Here the ones place is 0. So this number is divisible by 10. So what we observe by seeing these examples. Only the number that is having ones place 0. Only that number is going to divisible by 10. Remaining numbers are not divisible by 10. So today what we learned. So we have learned. Divisibility rules and their examples. Hope you all like this video. In the next session we shall see exercise 3.1. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel and support us. Thank you for watching.